everyone, it is me Claire. I am now finished with my second week of college and I want to talk to you guys about web series. Yes, I know I've made some myself, but I've kind of failed epically on making those, but we're not going to talk about that. I've been recently getting into a lot of web series about literary novels and plays <laughs> and I wanted to kind of talk about that. Well, as you know, I was into, I've been into a lot of stuff that Hank Green has been doing, like Lizzie Bennet Diaries and Emma Approved. I'm a little skeptical about um, Frankenstein MD. It's just not my cup of tea because I, I didn't mind the book when I read it, but it's not, but I do like the idea of having it, having Victor be Victoria and her still being a student and that kind of stuff. I've just been really into, because I watched that, a lot of times I get recommended on YouTube to watch different ones, like, um, oh, there's one that was done by one of like, the co-writers or co-producers of Lisbeth Diaries that is currently having a Kickstarter for their season two, and it's The New Adventures of Peter, Peter and Wendy, and it's a modern take on Peter Pan, and it's really cool, and I really want season two to happen, because that would be really awesome, and I just really like how they have it, because they have... Of course, Peter and Wendy are, it's, in, it's a place called Neverland, Ohio, and they sort of live there, and it's really cool seeing that they're, because they're all a little bit older, they're all like in their 20s, even, even Peter is, and that kind of stuff, and the only real like fantasy thing is that they still have fairies, like Tinkerbell, which I think is really cool. Then I also found Nothing Much To Do, which is based on Much To Do About Nothing from Shakespeare, and it is based in New Zealand, and it's really good. And it's about like these, it's about like these kids, um, in high school. I think that's, I think that's what it's called, high school in New Zealand. And it's really funny, and I really like how they're going, going at it so far. And some of the stuff can be a bit triggering, but just be wary of that. Oh, I accidentally marathoned. I think it was either yesterday or Thursday. Um, one called Jules and Monty, which or Monty and Jules, which was a modern take on Romeo and Juliet, and it was actually really cool because it was based in college, so it was kind of relatable for me. Uh, I think today I watched one that was like Katie, Katie the Cursed, which was based off Taming of the Shrew, and I marathoned it because it was pretty short, and it's actually really good. I quite enjoyed it. And it said that the last thing I uploaded was two months ago, but then I was checking comments on their last episode and said that they were going to be filming, hopefully putting stuff up either this week or next week. So I'm kind of excited to see how that goes. Um, and right now I'm actually watching one based on Anne, Anne of the Green Gables, which is actually pretty good. I quite like it. Oh! Oh! And there's also Autobiography um, of Jane Eyre, which was a really cool one. And it was really sad though because I got into it and then it was ending and I was like, oh, but it, it was still really good. I had fun watching it and it was, I really liked it. I like that one too. But, and I know there's plenty more that I'll probably discover along the way. It's just interesting seeing these literary novels or plays being set in modern times. I just think that's just a really interesting concept. And I wish I had, like, the money or the power or, like, the people to do that. Like, I would, hmm, what would be a good one? Hmm. I haven't read, another thing, but I haven't really read many literary novels. Well, there is a Great Gatsby one that I saw, but I'm kind of weary of that one. Because I do love Great Gatsby, it was a good book, but... Not my cup of tea. Wouldn't want to do anything with J.D. Salinger books, because that would just be... Nothing could do them justice, in my opinion. Um, Hamlet would be interesting. Would be an interesting one to do. <laughs> Julius Caesar would be funny. Well, not funny, but it would, it would be kind of intriguing. And yeah, they have done Hamlet technically, like with like the David, with like the one that David Tennant was in. That was sort of modern, but I think we kind of just maybe have it be maybe a little younger. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Do you have any ideas for like possible web series for like literary things, or what you think would be a good one to have things based on? 
put in the comments. That'd be kind of cool. But, yeah. General update time. Uh, school's going well. I actually passed my first statistics quiz yesterday. I got 100%. I'm so happy. Um, I've been, I think I've been making friends. I hope I am. Um, my roommate's cool. She is currently at home um, with her family because um, something's going on with her family right now. Well, it's not nothing like serious. It's actually sort of like visiting kind of a thing going on. So, yeah. Keep each other safe. Keep faith. Phantoms forever. I shall see you all soon. Bye!